Why do I like drawing houses? I think it started in my 20s when I discovered the beauty of the old European towns with their torturous narrow streets around the town center. I loved exploring what was behind every corner and I felt that there's so much mystery of lives which once lived behind those walls throughout centuries. History, old architecture and need to create my own fantasy towns which I could dream about and maybe uh, one day visit them and therefore solve the mystery of what is behind those walls. That is why. I grew up in former Czechoslovakia behind the Iron Curtain and I really suffered as a teenager when I couldn't travel. I wanted to see the world. That is somehow reflected in my old paintings, which have certain sadness in them. As a child, I watched my grandfather paint. He was a realistic painter of earthly rich colors. I sometimes like to go there too. When I was 18, I had this incredible experience of being an extra in Barbara Streisand movie Yento because she filmed it in former Czechoslovakia. I always wanted to visit the United States. My first real experience of America was in San Diego, where I studied graphic design at the Art Institute of California. atmosphere. That's what is so important and crucial in my artworks. Color, mood and atmosphere. Rico San Marco, an independent movie produced by Bistad's Diego Productions, was my first experience as an art director and production designer. I loved it. I love trying new pencils and paints, new colors, inks, pastels, but in the end I always end up with my old well-tried techniques, watercolor, tempera, pastels. Recently I started a new thing which I call layers, using color pencils on acrylic, pastels on watercolor or mixing them all together to get more texture and definition. When you spend 15 years around Greeks and four years living in Greece, there will always be a Greek theme or two. What is my process? There are four areas I can talk about. First is fantasy. Uh, that's those houses I like to paint and draw and imaginary worlds that I would like to visit or characters like the clowns or dogs. Another area is abstract. That happens when I don't know what to paint or draw and I just like to play with colors and 
uh, create lines and let them lead the way and sometimes something even more realistic comes from it next are real places uh, those are photographs which I take in my daily life on my travels and I like to transform them into something new different um, I want to show the world the way I see it and the last one is illustration I get it inspired by books movies or everyday life experiences and I like to illustrate them my goal is to show you the beauty around me or the beauty I imagine or dream about I hope you will join me explore it and like it